Welcome back to 13 News Now at Noon. Later this week, the Portsmouth Department of Behavioral Health Care Services is hosting the fourth annual Shatter the Silence event. Here to tell us more about it, we have Rylan Chesley and Mary Darden Robinson. Thank you both for being here today. Thank you. It's a hard topic, uh, certainly one that you're hoping to bring light to with this. First, let's talk about why we're focusing on suicide prevention and awareness. Why is that such a big deal? Obviously kind of a little bit self-explanatory, but why specifically in Hampton Roads? So it's one of the topics um, that's been identified. It is an area of need in our community. Um, within our CSB, there is a needs assessment that's completed. And one of those areas that we um, need to positively impact is the area of mental health, suicide, opioids as well. Okay. So that's why our focus is on um, suicide awareness, making sure that people are comfortable talking about it, as well as being able to learn about those warning signs to save more lives. Absolutely. And, and talk about the, the, the benefits of kind of breaking down that wall, if you will, shattering that wall and making it easier for people to discuss how they're feeling and, and seeking help, quite frankly. Um, well, it's more so about normalizing the conversation and taking the stigma away from um, suicide as a whole and really being able to set a, an environment environment where children are comfortable talking specifically to people that they trust or even adults for, for that matter and how they can kind of, kind of process that information. Are we seeing a huge rise in, in uh, the number of, of I guess young people kind of under the age of 18 that are going through these these issues and not being able to talk about suicide? Absolutely. It's an area that um, many people don't want to talk about. Yeah. Um, previously, a long time ago, there was a discussion that if you talk about it, you're going to you know, encourage someone to respond in that manner. And so our focus is really being able to explain that it is a conversation we need to have. That's how we save lives. Mm -hmm. Of course, with bullying and some of the other um, incidents that occur in school, it's difficult being a young person. And so we also want parents to know that they also have a place to come to get information. Absolutely. Let, we have about 30 seconds left. Let's talk about the event itself, what people can learn from that event. Okay, great. The theme for this year is Be the Light in Someone's Darkness. It's going to be held at Venue 757, which is on George Washington Boulevard, uh, Friday, September 13th from 5 to 8. Um, and our theme is going to be full of different uh, stations for the children to kind of take home with them to, to deal and cope with suicide or maybe help and give to a friend to cope with suicide. So we appreciate everyone coming out to support the event. Absolutely. And all this information, of course, will be on 13newsnow.com if you'd like to learn more. Rylan, Mary, very important topic. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. We'll be